What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to use elements on Funimate. If you don't know what Elements is on Funimate, they added some new updates on the app. Elements is actually really cool because you don't have to go to other apps to look up some backgrounds or pictures. But before we start, I did some editing on my phone and I color coded things. There's blue, there's red, there's green, and there's yellow. I'm not completely done because I will add a black color so that's the new update but without further ado let's get started so when you open the funimate app there's the featured page and some have like stars on top of the heart stuff and those will show the elements used in that edit some videos will not have stars on top of the hearts because they did not use elements obviously but if you want to save that element that they use so you can use it on your edit you can easily click on that star and it will automatically save it so that's their newest update along with some really cool transitions. If you don't know by the way, my name is Ariane on Funimate and let's go ahead and edit video. I'm just going to pick a few photos of mine. Alright, so to get an element, first you have to click on that plus sign and on the very bottom you will see element. And once you click on it, there is library, start, and my elements. Library are the ones that you have recently used. And then on starred, those are the elements that you have starred or saved to use on your element. As you can see right there. And then next to start is my elements. I don't have any elements yet, but I will show you how to make an element. As an example, it's an easy example, I'll use particle and then I will use hearts and I'll, use, I'll do an S shape with it. Then when you're done, click on the arrow on the very bottom left corner and then you should have the option save. And then once you click on it, you will have the option to add tags. I added hashtag hearts. And if you want others to use your element, click on that circle. And if not, that's totally fine. You can keep your elements to yourself. So then now your elements is safe. Let's go back to element and then go to my elements. And that should show the elements that you just saved. Right there. And now go back to elements and I will show you how to get the element that you want to use in your edit. Over here is a list of hashtags that are frequently used or frequently searched. Okay, let's say you're looking for a visco something. So then you would type visco and you should be able to find all these visco thingies. I clicked on the star and there we go. And with that, you can go to animate, custom, and you can go to scale, rotation, or opacity, whatever your heart desires. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if it's the same for the other ones, but you cannot save other people's elements. You can see it through your recent used elements, though, but I don't think you can save others' elements. On the library part, you can look up background, and you should be able to find all these really cool backgrounds. I think they're cool by the way like that one i don't a lot of editors use those type of backgrounds on their edits which is really cool and yeah that's how you use elements it's pretty simple and it's really cool you should go ahead and try it if you haven't already so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys liked this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and you have a good day or night, wherever you are.